Hey guys, I want to talk about the oath that's in um, that starts off our 40-day prosperity plan. Um, if you'll recall, in the book, uh, the Abundance book, there's if you have the hardback book, it's on page 31, but it's toward the beginning of the prosperity pl pr uh, plan. There's a little statement that you're supposed to write in your journal, and this is a statement. It says, this day, um, we started on May, 20, uh, May 19th, this day, Monday, May 19th, I, be I cease believing in visible money as my supply and my support. I view the world of effect as it truly is, simply an outpicturing of my former beliefs. I believed in the power of money, therefore I surrendered my God-given power and authority to an objectified belief. I believed in the possibility of lack, thus causing a separation in consciousness from the source of my supply. I believed in mortal man and carnal conditions, and through this faith gave man and conditions power over me. I believed in the mortal illusion created by the collective consciousness of error thoughts, and in doing so, I limited the unlimited. No more. This day I renounce my so-called humanhood and claim my divine inheritance as a being of God. This day I acknowledge God and only God as my substance, my supply, and my support. So I'm going to just, in this little video, I'm going to talk about um, the first couple of sentences. Um, and I want to keep these videos really short because I know that I've given you all a lot to do already. So these videos will be very short and just like a little bit of information to keep you going during the week with these ideas that we're learning. So um, the, the oath starts off, I, I cease believing in visible money as my supply and support. So many of us have been raised to think that we need money in order to do things. And we need money in order to buy what we need. We need money to pay our rent. We need money to buy our food, to pay the babysitter, to put gas in the car, to travel the world, to buy a plane ticket, blah, blah, blah. And you are absolutely correct. You need the money in order to do a lot of those things because that's the system in which we live. The thing is, the thing that we're missing and the reason why we're even doing this program is because behind the money or before the money, there's a really important thing that we have to tune into, which is the consciousness of abundance or the consciousness of source energy, which says that we are abundant and that we have unlimited access to wealth and riches beyond our imagination. Now, if you're having trouble with anything that I'm saying right now, I want you to make a note of it, either in your notebook or just um, make a mental note where you're experiencing resistance to what I'm saying. It's really important that you do this because where there's resistance, there is um, opportunity to see where you might have limiting belief systems. So everything that I'm saying right now is absolutely true. And if you have trouble with that statement, make a note of it. Now we can talk about, um, I'm happy to talk about you with, about your resistance with you personally, or you can leave a post in on the Facebook group that I've established, or you can send me an email, or we can talk about it over the phone, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just make a note of it and let's talk about it at some point. So what I'm saying here is that the actual thing that you need before you need money is a connection to source energy and or at least a connection to a mentality that understands that you are an unlimited being. And whether you're an unlimited being of God or an unlimited being of goddess or an unlimited being of source energy, 
It's your connection and understanding that you are worthy, that you are divine, that you are much more than what you see and feel, all this stuff, that you are much more than that. When you tune in to this energy that you really are, then you'll understand why or how things are working for you. So be patient with me just for a second. Let's say that you have $500 and that's all you have, and yet you want to take a trip around the world. Now, that's $500 is all the visible money that you have, and yet you want to take this trip around the world. The question then would be, are you secure enough to venture around the world and know that everything that you need is going to be taken care of even though you only have $500 in your bank account? Do you trust source energy to provide you with the plane tickets, the train tickets, the accommodations, the food, the connections, so that you will have an enjoyable trip around the world that resonates with the vibration that you're holding? all with only $500 in your bank account. So there's so many different mentalities that go along with answering this question that I'm posing. So rather than answer that question, what I want to just ask you to do is ponder that question and see how you feel about it. See if it makes you uncomfortable. See what you think about it. And see what you think about how source energy responds. My solution is to allow yourself to vibrate at the idea of what it is you truly desire. So I strongly feel that source energy, if you are tuned in to source energy, you will make that trip around the world and you will have no issues with getting the plane tickets you need when you need it or getting to the destination you want to get to when you desire to get there and to have the meals you desire to have, to um, stay in the places that you desire to stay, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. And the whole reason for us doing this course is to understand how that energy works and I'm going to cut our video right here because um, I don't want to go on too long. I really don't want to make this a long video, and I've kind of gone off track. So I'm going to close down right here just by visiting again the, the first um, statement that I read out, which is, I cease believing in visible money as my supply and my support. So again, this is about shifting your awareness from visible money dollars and cents, the $500 that's in your bank account, to understanding that the real source and supply of your adventure is not the money, but the source energy or your connection to your divinity, the, your connection to your power source. That is the real source of your supply. All right, that's my video for this morning. Um, Hey, nine minutes. Okay, thanks, guys. I'll check in with you um, very soon. Bye for now.